In today's video, you're going to learn how to test a refrigerated compressor. Testing a compressor is pretty simple. You're going to need a multimeter or voltmeter. We're going to test ohms of resistance at the lowest settings. We're going to test the compressor winding. It has two sets of winding. Start and run. You always test windings to ground and then you add them together. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to learn how to test a refrigerator compressor. It's actually pretty simple, and this is going to be a short video. One of the things, of course, you're going to need is a voltmeter or a multimeter. This is the refrigerator compressor, and the best way and the only way to accurately test a refrigerator compressor is to test the winding. This is a new compressor and all I did was let you see that it usually has a PTC or overload relay attached to it. Most of them have a clip, remove the clip and then slide the PTC off, set it to the side. Once you slide the PTC or overload relay to the side, as you can see here, compressor has three pins and it's common, is always by itself, the one at the top, and then it's start and then run. Those are the three pins that we're about to test because we're testing the windings to see if this is a good compressor or a faulty compressor. When testing a compressor, you want to set your voltmeter or multimeter to the lowest set of ohms of resistance, the lowest settings on that multimeter or voltmeter. You can start with any number of pins. Let me zoom in. So I'm just going to place the multimeter there. We're going to start from common to start. With a multimeter or voltmeter, make sure you have a very good contact. And if you can see that, we're roughly at 2.8 to 2.9. Then we're going to go from common to run. Common to run, we have a 2.1. So 2.9, 2.1 is roughly uh, 5, 4.9 to 5 ohms of resistance. So the last two start to run should equal that. And we've got 4.9 to 5. So that's within the acceptable range, which means this is a good compressor. So again, set your voltmeter or multimeter to the lowest settings for ohms of resistance. And start with whatever pins you want. I like to start with the common and start windings. And then you'll get your reading. Once you get the reading, make a note, 2.9. Then I go from common to run. And from common to run, I'm getting a 2.1, 2.0. So that's 4.9. So your last two pins, or from start to run, should equal the value of the other two readings you just got. Just add them together. And we're getting 4.9. So again, this is a good compressor. Real easy, real simple. If you don't have a voltmeter, get one or a multimeter. You can use different kinds of meters. There's analog and then there's digital. Of course, this is a clamp meter and it's digital. I like the clamp meter because you can also use it to test amperage. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video.